has always pushed the boundaries of pre-workout. Leading, evolving, pursuing perfection. The future of explosive energy. Clean, clear, evolved. C4 Extreme, the pursuit of perfection. All right, J.M. Mannion here, NPC News Online. We've got our first 2020 Olympia champion, four-time four time. figure Olympia champion. Now, listen, she has broken a record yes. and tied a record yes. all at the same time. So do you want to explain to them? Because I know what it is. I know you know what it is. But yes. let's let them, you tell everybody what these records are. So Nicole Wilkins, which was my idol when I was younger, she had four Olympia titles. And then Devonna Medina had three consecutive Olympia titles. So last year I tied Devonna with three consecutive. And now I'm tied Nicole for four total, but I'm the first person to have four consecutive Olympia titles for figure. Okay, now a, a really cool thing is you have a relationship with Devonna, right? Yes, she's super supportive. She's like my second stage mom. She reaches out all the time on Instagram. And so she's just been really, really supportive throughout this whole journey and just learning history from her and seeing how she still support, supports current day figures is amazing to me. Yeah, and for those of you that don't know, Devonna was the very first, first IB Olympia. Figure Olympia mm -hmm. champion and she won the first three. Mm -hmm. She was actually our first NPC national figure champion yeah. too. So, you know, there can be only one, but guess what? You're on the first one to do it too. Yes, I'm, I'm excited to follow in her footsteps and just continue to create my own path. And that's what it's all about is inspiring people, showing people that you don't stop once you win one. Keep pushing. Why not keep going further and seeing right. how far you can go and keep inspiring people and keep just seeing what your absolute best is. You never know until you try. So you got to just keep going. Right. All right. So this has obviously been a crazy year, right? Yes. It's been so crazy between all the issues. My mom would kill me if I tell y'all anything. His wife knows everything. but. Um, just going through things with her and learning about certain issues, health issues that pop up mid prep. Right. It's like you kind of got to, the Olympia was my, my go-to, my getaway, because that was one thing that I, I hoped would still happen, and I just firmly believe that it would still right. happen, and that was the one thing that gave me my escape to really make sure that I had something to push forward. Otherwise, I'd be lost in the sauce, because my mom is my everything. Right. She is my everything. Yeah. So... So is she here? She is here. Oh, She's here. That's great. She, she did get to make it. She doesn't. She will not miss it. She will be literally on her deathbed before she misses yeah. a show. So she was going to make it. Yeah. I know you gave the, uh, uh, you know, said you did everything for your mom up mm -hmm. there and everything. And I know, like you said, people don't know everything. Exactly. But, yeah. I think it's, 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 this one was just so important for her because her biggest concern was when everything was happening with her, she was like, she didn't want me to not compete at the Olympia. So, and she raised me to not have any excuse no matter what your what your environment is going through you that's not an excuse you right. figure out a way if you want to do something you want to do it. and I know she loves this sport just as much as I do so me not competing here would have devastated her right she would have devastated her so I knew that that was the only way I was like whether you got to cry today cry tomorrow whatever you got to right. do keep pushing all right so backstage I'm back there taking pictures I was watching you this morning mm -hmm. okay it was a very different you backstage, okay? I noticed that you kind of kept to yourself, mm -hmm. you were doing your thing, mm -hmm. you didn't really interact with the other competitors, but when they did come over to you, you would speak to them, right. take pictures right. with them, but you seemed more focused than I've seen you before. And I, I would say the same, and I was telling my coach, it's, it's a weird feeling when you get to the place where you are that focus. It's almost scary, but it's like you need that focus when you're dealing with like life and death situations. You need that type of focus to pull you in. Otherwise, you will be pulled somewhere right. else. And so I think this whole entire prep, especially these last two months, I've had like laser focus to the point where I was so far, of, far ahead of um, objective goals I'd met for last year's Olympia months ahead of time. So I was just pushing and pushing and pushing to see how far we could get, how much better I could get. And that was the only thing, the only tangible thing I had to hold on to. So like I always say, control what you can control. And that's the one thing I can control. I'm going to be better than I was last year. Right. Well, I will say this because I think I've pretty much seen most of, our, if not all of your pro shows, yes. many of your NPC contests. I would say that this... And I don't, I mean, I don't know how you say it, but this was the best presentation posing that you've ever, I've ever seen you do at the, at the morning judging. Thank you. I worked really, really hard on it. I think that's attributed to my clients because I have, I've turned 
meeting people, we pros. So every single night show I've had pros turn in women's physique and bodybuilding, and my women's bodybuilder might win Miss Olympia today. So I'm excited to see that. But I think the effort that I pour into them and pour into them every single day is replaced in your head. So as many times as you're telling them what to do, what to do, you're consciously, subconsciously doing it yourself. So it makes me practice a thousand times more than I've been practicing ever because I had so many ladies. Yeah. Yeah. So you so so was it a conscious decision? Did you or was it just like you said, it just kinda with everything you were doing was just ingrained in you? Well, I my ladies motivate me so much, so I wanted to make sure that if I'm gonna be called their coach, there has to be a reason why I'm the coach. It should be a difference between the coach and the athlete. Right. So that means I have to step my game up. The better their presentation gets, the better mine has to get. So months ago I started practicing my pros and maybe six months out to make sure that this routine was even better than last year. And then I just keep putting the finishing touches and make sure that it's performance versus just posing. Right. So you really didn't have to think about it. You just no. did it. Yes. Because I practice uh, like every day. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So is there anybody else you want to give a shout out to here? Yes. Of course, I want to give a shout out to the Manion family, especially JM, who's always, always so supportive of this organization. He runs everything so well and makes sure, especially when I talk with my clients, I look to NPC News Online to make sure I'm knowing what they're doing because people don't like to post their pictures all the time. So I go to NPC because they have my back. I want to thank the Manion family, especially Dan Solomon and all the Olympia um, uh, group that helped have this show still because like I said this show was my saving grace for 2020. 2020 has been a poo show so at least the Olympia was pulled through and I'm so grateful that people love this sport as much as I do and were able to allow this show to happen and beyond that I of course have to thank my coach. My coach is basically my second father. He's, he's probably as close to me as my mom is in terms of knowing every single thing that happens in my life. So just as devastated as I was throughout these months, he's been as, as, de as devastated. And so he helped me push and continue to push and create a better look each and every time. And he never lets me slack. So I think he's probably one of the best decisions I've ever made in terms of being able to get my physique and maintain my health in the entire journey. So definitely my, my, my extended family, my main family, my fiance for letting me postpone the wedding and basically anybody who has supported me throughout this journey. I love all of y'all and to anybody out there who is going through things that they don't talk about. I see you, I support you and I love you. All right. So I guess there's only one question left. That's the plan. I will be back. I will be back until I retire a long time from now. All right. J.M. Mannion. Sydney Gillen. Signing out for NPCNewsOnline.com. Are you ready? Do you believe in magic? Here it's automatic. La da, la da, ooh. Amazing how it's happening. Look at mom, we made it. Future, that future, that future, that future.